students and other learners at home. Welcome to the e-learning program of the FCT Universal Basic Education Board. My name is Muhammad Abdullah Husseini, your mathematics teacher. Today, I'm here to teach uh, a topic on the statistics, which is computation of mean and median of on-group data. So we, as we have learned earlier, that in statistics, we used to collect data. And this data we have discussed, they are of two kinds. You can either collect data and group them together. In such case, we call the data collected as a group data. And you can also decide to collect the data anyhow. That is not arranging them or not grouping them in order. This data collected, we now call them uh, on group data. For instance, if a teacher enters your class, according to the way you are sitting in the class, because of course in the class you are not arranged according to their according to your age. The teacher can decide to ask each student to stand up and tell him his age. How old are you? So different students can state their ages. And this collection of data is not grouped because the teacher is collecting each one. This person, the first student, may give his age as 10. The second student may say he is 20 years old. Another student may say he's seven years old. So he's just collecting the data as they come. But if he wants to collect the data and say, I want students from seven years to 10 years to stand up, from 11 years to 13 years to stand up, in that case, he's grouping the students according to their age. So this kind of data, that is the ungrouped one, is what we are going to consider today. We are going to see how to compute their mean and median. So as we are going to see, whenever you want to calculate the mean of an ungrouped data, the data that is not grouped, what you are going to do very easy is to add all the data collected. If you have collected 10 different data, you add them and then divide by 10. That is the number of items you have considered. If you have collected the data from five students, you add all of them and divide by five. That is according to the number of items you considered. So in this case, we said students. Therefore, what you got after the division gives the mean of the data collected. As we have seen on the board here, as example, you are asked to, do, you are asked to find the ages or the ages of 20 students are given. So in this class, uh, we assume that we have 20 students and the teacher collected the ages of these 20 students, and you want to determine the mean of these 20 students, considering their age. That's why, if you look at the values we have, or the different numbers we have, if you count, they are 20, because they are for 20 students. Each number here is for one student. So if you count, we have 20 students. As we said, if you want to calculate the mean, you only need to add the figures collected or the numbers collected and divide by the number of items considered. Here we are considering 20 students. That is why you add all these numbers and divide by 20. So each of the number here, we use summation. We sum all of them and then divide by 20. So when you sum these numbers all, 
is going to give 473. Then, of course, the number of students considered uh, were 20. That's why we have to divide by 20, which means the mean of the data collected, which is the ages of students, is now 23.65 years. So this is how to calculate the mean of on-group data. Remember, we say we have two ways of collecting data. It can either be grouped or ungrouped. This one is for an on-group data. But if it is grouped, there is a different way of doing that. So do, do not misunderstood the way we did this one and the way we are going to do the second one. But now, this is how to get the median or how to compute the median of an ungrouped data. We are now moving to see how we can do the same, how we can compute or determine the median of an ungrouped data. The median now, the median of an ungrouped data. Whenever you want to compute or determine the median of an ungrouped data, the first thing to do is to arrange the numbers you got. That is, if you have collected the age or anything you have collected for the number of students, you are going to arrange those numbers either in ascending order or in descending order. Ascending means you arrange the numbers from the lowest number to the highest number. Or you can do it in either way, in descending number, in descending order, that you arrange the numbers from the biggest one to the lowest one. And then select or pick the middle one. The middle one will now give you the median. So in short, we are just saying that median is just the middle number when the numbers are arranged either in ascending order or in descending order. But this definition is only applicable when the numbers or the number of terms in a given data is odd. The number of terms, when the number of terms is odd, is an odd number, that is when you can get the middle number. But when the number of terms in a given data is not an odd number or it is an even number, the median is now going to be the average of the two middle numbers as we are going to see. So the median is the middle number when numbers are arranged either in ascending order or descending order. And this definition, as I said earlier, is for uh, the odd number of terms in a given data. But if the terms in a given data is not an odd arrangement, your median is going to be the, the median. That is, the, the median is now going to be the average of the two middle numbers. Example. Find the median. of each of the following. A, five, four, six, three, eleven, seven, and two. Y, B, we have three, two, Two, five, one, three, two, three, zero, five. So as I said earlier, if you want to find the median, what you are, what you must do first 
is to arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order. And you have to consider the numbers, the number of terms in the given uh, data. So here we have 5, 4, 6, 3, 11, 7, and 2. If you count, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is an odd, it has an it has odd number of terms. Therefore, you now arrange them in order. We have 2 is the smallest number. I am arranging in ascending order now. We have 2 followed by 4. Okay, followed by 3, followed by 4, we have 5, 6, 7, 11. So we have 7 figures now. Then the middle, 1, 2, 3. You also have from the right 1, 2, 3, which means 5 is the middle number. You know, say therefore, the median is now equal to five. The median is now equal to five, so that is the median number here. While for the second one here, you do the same thing. Arrange, arrange them. Here I'm going to use uh, descending order arrangement. I have the highest number here is five. I have another 5, then followed by 3, 3 again, and another 3, before I have 2, 2, then 1, 0. So count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, 2, are uh, three, two are uh, three. I have two before one zero. So we have ten numbers now. So ten numbers. When you take one, two, three, four, you also have from the right one, two, three, four. It means at the middle you have two numbers. At the middle you have two numbers. Now you are median. As we say, it is the average of the two median numbers. It's now going to be 3 plus 2 divided by 2. This will give you 5 divided by 2. And your answer will now be 2 whole number 1 over 2. So this is how to get the median for uh, different uh, numbers. Either the numbers are odd has no number uh, has odd number of terms or the number is having uh, an even number of terms but the most important thing is to know that you must always arrange your numbers either in ascending or descending order therefore this is how we get the median depending on the number of uh, terms in a given uh, distribution So having seen how we compute the median and the mean, I hope uh, we can be able to solve any problem given under this topic. Therefore, I'm going to give an assignment that you do at home and submit in the next class, before the next class. Number one assignment. You have to find the mean angle. Find the mean angle given that the following are the measurements of five different angles. Then we have one, 75 degrees, 76 degrees, 72 degrees, 73 degrees and 74 degrees. So you are going to look for the mean, the mean of this set of numbers.
in the second one, the daily, the daily attendance by patients in a certain hospital was given what is the median of the distribution or what is the median daily attendance. So we have 24, 48, 15, 60, 37, 28, 18, and 26. Lastly, find the median of the set of numbers. Find the median of the set of numbers. That's number 3. 20, 13, 30, 43, and 15. Try as much as possible to attempt the assignment. And you are expected to submit the assignment before the next class. So with this, we come to the end of the lesson till we meet next time. So good day and stay safe. Thank you.